When we first arrived in Khalifi, we met Samson, one of the Bochon dinghy drivers. In this video, he shares his life with us, living on Maya Island and paddling to work at the boatyard. We discover a treasure that goes beyond material wealth. We weren't just visitors, we were welcomed as family. Life here is simple and every moment felt precious. This video celebrates the beauty of forming real connections in a place that feels like home, even when it's far from your own. Come experience rural Kenyan life, slow down and truly connect. We came at the wrong tide, but all good. <laughs> nice and muddy. Now we are walking to his village and going to go check stuff out. Really awesome that he invited us to come and see. Uh, mine, I left it there yesterday. I didn't pick it up. Now this is the type of nets yes. the fishermen are using this type. Yeah. Small gauge, eh? Yeah, small gauge. Yeah. Because we, we don't have big fish this time, it's just a creek. Yes, yes. Yeah. So when you use the, the large one, you won't get any. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Well, now this is something so for a living. Do most of the fishermen here, are they living here in Maya Island? Yeah, they live in Maya Island. Okay. That's why they pack their canoes this side. Okay. So we have large offshores this side. Large offshores? Yeah, that's that. Just uh, open areas. Yes. Yeah. Normally... But high tide, this is covered. Yeah. High tide, this is covered. Yeah. yeah. So maybe you can play soccer here at low tide, eh? Yeah, you can play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> this is natural football ground. Exactly. <laughs> Not man-made. Hurry, hurry, the tide hurry, is coming. Hurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you can play at athletics, yeah? <laughs> This is side. Yeah. We have that creek going inside the Kibokoni. Yeah. Then at the left, we have the Mandarini Creek. Okay. And it goes deeper. You so you're okay? actually on an yeah, island here? Yeah. No, it doesn't close off. Okay, but just each side like that. It has a, a, few, a, few, a few kilometers. Yes. At the top end. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't close up. Okay. Because we have only one highway. Yes. The other way. If you have a boat, you can cross the boat. Yeah. If you don't have, you have to, to use the road. Yeah, but which direction? On the left? Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. 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 What's this? School. Is this a school? Oh, I love it. Black Mambo. Someone's got good handwriting. <laughs> Mambo. Mambo. He's a teacher. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. English. Boys. 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 You're trying keys. It's time for the drying of the crops. Yeah. Time to dry them up. 
Is this yours? Yeah, And your house? Samson says that he's building this house yeah. for himself. <laughs> hey? Can I have a look? Sante. There's no door yet. Okay. No windows. Hey, pole, pole. Pole, pole. Yeah. It's, it's just like building a boat, you see? <laughs> <laughs> just like building a like boat. Like building a boat, you see? Sorry. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Hey, check all those good shells. Hey? Eh? Yeah. Got a bed, batteries. And it's charging. I, I live like a slimmer. Yes. I have no Is this a village land? Yeah, this is a village. Everybody got their own kids? Yeah, yeah. This is, this is my piece of ground. Is there more things? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, one knows it. Maybe it's not a man. 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 Maybe it's not a Mambo. <laughs> smart. Girl. Who's that one? Susan. Susan. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Like this, like this. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know Langoni Charlotte? Charlotte. Charlotte. Na Moya? Moya. Moya. Yeah. Do you know Langoni Robin? Robin. Robin. Work. Asante Susan. Asante Sana. This can work. Okay, you are welcome. Thank you, Thanks. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. So you right here by the fields. Nice. Yeah, nice field. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, young man. What is your name? My name is Gab Gabriel. 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 The Malaika. Angel. Yes, yes. Malaika. Gabriel. Gabriel. My name is Robin. How are you, young man? Good. Are you looking after your father? Yes. You must do that, eh? Study hard at school. He is the one taking Don't be care naughty. of the, the gods. The hey. gods. You must look after the gods, look after your father. Don't be naughty. Yes, take them okay. to pasture. And your, your, your daughter's name? My name is Carolyn. 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 Yes. Carolyn. How are you, Carolyn? I'm fine. Good. How old are you? I'm 17 years old. 17, eh? Good girl now, Susan. She's a big girl. Where are the goats? There. Yeah. They're in the field? No. Oh. Yeah, they are tied up. Yeah, it's just waiting for the sun to go down. How many do you have? 22. 22? 22. That's a lot. You've got a big job to look after them. Yeah? Okay. That's good. Off they go for a walk. Carolyn Sampson's daughter has taken Moya just to go check these out around us. Very cool. Moya? Yes? Just put the water on your head. <laughs> Yeah. That was special. What was special? That was special. Oh. Some traditional eggs, not the not the, the, the dead one. Where are these from? The chickens that are running around. Okay. Wash your hands.
But now I know why it's an island, because you showed us where... Yeah, yeah. And then when it, at high tide it fills up... The, the main road you've seen is the only one we have. Mm. We don't have another road. It's a big road. So you go west, you go west, you go east, you go north, you go south. Anyway. You'll see the ocean. It's nice and peaceful. It is. Yeah. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Mm. I live living here. Mm. Normally when I'm not at work, I stay from. In Zulu we say Kumula. Kumula. Kumula, which means to relax. Yeah. Just relax. Kumula. Kumula guy. Relax nicely. Okay, so what, are, what are these shorted? Cashews. Cashews? Yeah, cashew nuts. Cashew nuts. Okay, but we can't eat them now. No, you can't eat them now. When you burn the shell, the oil dries up in the shell. Then it will be easy. And then, you can, and then you can eat it. Yeah, you can't eat it. You see how they burn? The oil lights up like that. Yes. You see the one in the water there. So that oil is bad for skin. When you touch the skin, it burns. Wow. Yeah, that's why it's not good. And Susan's peeling the mealies. Yes. Maize. Yes. We bought from a mother too. I was going to see that I was going to take a mother. I was going to take a you get the nut easy. Without oil. Now it's dry. Dry and ready to eat. <laughs> Hot. You Hot. move off the, 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 it has some small shells on it. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's like a ground mat. Okay. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Yes. Indio. Mmm. 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 Nice. Oh, oh, fresh cashew nuts are good. Yeah, fresh, and do, you, do you get nuts all year round or is it certain seasons? Like season. Okay. Mm. Normally in October. This is my friend. This yes. is my friend Susan. Yes. From Zuri Sana. Susan is from Tanzania, from Moshi. Yes. From Moshi. And then she married Samson and Kenya. And you like her? Yes. <laughs> and now I think Samson's going up the coconut tree. Yes. Hey, man, we. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Pole, pole. Play my hat. He went up quickly. Yo, you probably can't see him, but he is. That's a high tree. That's cool. <laughs> Boja. One. Boja. Two. Really? Sour, sour. Sago. Split on the way down. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. so good. Ah, so? Mm. Zori. Sana. Mm. <laughs> oh, so good. What a beautiful afternoon. You know, so welcoming and so friendly, and just opened up their home. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Love this place. Gave us coconuts and bananas and cashew nuts, and what a mission to get the cashews out. So, really appreciative of Sam Samson and his family for welcoming us to his home. For those of you who watched one of our previous episodes, you'll probably recognize these buildings behind me and wonder 
Why am I back at the Seahorse Hotel Ruins? Well, there's a very good reason. After watching that video, the owner's son, Alistair, he reached out to me and shared some fresh stories about his dad and the hotel and also cleared up some inaccuracies. So now the hotel didn't just magically appear. It was built up from scratch by not only David, but the entire Muscle White family. And they transformed the wild virgin bush into the Seahorse Hotel where the boat bar became the heart of this hotel. Now to set the record straight, the hotel's decline had nothing to do with David's finances or Barclays coming to reclaim the property. What happened was after a serious near fatal car accident, David made the really tough decision to sell the hotel to a Carl Rudin of African Safari Club. And I believe that it was run quite successfully until the year 2011 when Rudin's death led to its closure and the consequent demise of this place. But now that is not the end of the Muscle White story. David and his son Alistair embarked on an amazing sailing adventure. They sailed their yacht Shokwe up to the Mediterranean. They left Khalifi in August of 1984. Now we've been here in August and I can just imagine how strong those southeasterlies blew, not to mention the equatorial current. I'm sure that just rushed them all the way up the coast. They headed north to Lamu and Djibouti, had some engine trouble, they almost landed on a reef, but their journey through the Red Sea was nothing but sublime with desolate anchorages and some enhanced sailing skills of the entire crew. After three months, they safely arrived in Cyprus. David returned to Kenya and Alistair ran a very successful chartering business upon Shokwe in Turkey for a few years with seasonal family cruises in between. David then decided to sell Shokwe and they wrapped up their family cruises with one last memorable sail from Bodrum to Mallorca. David spent the remaining years of his life between his home in Mallorca and their house in Nairobi and he returned to Khalifi quite a few times over those years. The Seahorse Hotel is not just a set of ruins. It is a testament to David's vision, the Muscle White's family's hard work and dedication. So Alistair, thank you so much for sharing your stories with us and for the amazing photos.